Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you an example of an encapsulation in a class in C++. Let me show you how. So what is encapsulation? It sounds like really something crazy, right? Well, it's actually not super hard to understand. Let me show you what it is. So obviously we're learning about classes, so we need to create a class, okay? So we'll name this class user name. Okay, see, seems pretty easy enough, right? Now our user name is gonna have two functions, okay? We'll call it void uh, set name and we'll call the other one void get name. Okay, so far so easy right not not super not super hard we're gonna put public because we want to be able to access these functions in our main function right these methods right in our main function okay and let's accordingly space them right great two methods and we're gonna introduce something different it's gonna be called private now what is what is private right well if these are public and they can be accessed in, you know from anywhere private means it can only be accessed within this class okay <clears throat> so in here we're gonna have a string and we'll name it a uh, name okay it seems easy enough Let's go ahead and run our code to make sure that everything is functioning normally, and it is awesome. So we're going to create an instance of this username class, okay? So we're going to name it username, and we'll name it user1, okay? So we just created a user1. Now, user1 doesn't have a name yet, right? So we need to set it, okay? So we're going to name do user one dot set name. Now, unfortunately, this function doesn't do anything, right? So let's do a string and we'll call it. Well, what are we going to call it? Let's call it uh, and we'll just call it my name. OK. Now what we want to do is, well, we're setting the name, right? So we're going to set my, or actually name our private string, right? Something that this function cannot access, right? So we're going to call it main equals my name. Okay, let's go ahead and run it, see what happens. And nothing happens, right? Okay. And so, down here, I uh, I edited, you may not have seen it, but make sure this says string because we are returning a type string, or that's what I want to do, okay? So now that we've set the name, we want to get the name. We want to be able to obtain it, right? So let's do cout get name or user one dot get name. Okay, great. And all this is going to do is return name. Easy as that, okay? So as you can see, it says the word James, okay? So we have user1, and now we can have a user2, right? So we're going to do user name, user2. So we can have two different people's names, right? So let's change this to a uh, Jacob, okay? And we're gonna do user two dot set name. Let's space these out a little bit so we can see better. And we'll set this name to, let's say, what's a good name, Xavier. I like that name. Now we're gonna see out user one's name and we're gonna see out user two's name. Jacob and Xavier. So perfect, that's 
pretty much it. That's what encapsulation is. We protected this variable. We surrounded it and there's no way of getting it. So if I were to show you, you know what, let's just do something like this. I want to save this for later. Let's do, whoops. Um, yeah, let's do user one dot name equals uh, James. And then it's gonna give me an error. Why is, does it give me an error? Because we cannot access the name because it's private, right? It's like, there's just no way. It can only be accessed within this class, okay? So I hope you learned something new. I hope you got a better understanding of how encapsulation works. This will be a very important concept when getting a job, right? Very important uh, thing to understand. But I'd like to thank you for watching again. And I'll see you in the next video.